Hello everyone, in this video we will see the question that is merge two sorted arrays without extra space. So we will do the question statement that is given two sorted arrays A1 and A2 in non-decreasing order with size N and M. Non-decreasing order means increasing order only. So the task is to merge the two sorted arrays into one sorted array that is in increasing order. So we are given two, uh, so here we have a constraint that is we have to uh, like we don't have to use the extra space we need to do it in constant space so we need to modify the existing arrays only so for doing that like if we have input like 1 5 9 10 15 20 and the other array has 2 3 8 5 so we have to sort the elements according to that so uh, all the smaller elements that is 1 2 5 1 2 3 5 8 and 9 should come in the first array and all bigger elements or larger elements should come in the second array so we need to make like the, if we print the array 1 first it will have all the smaller elements then the, we will print array 2 so it will have all the larger elements so in this example also like 10 2 3 so we need to uh, get 2 in, in the first array so we need to print it first and then we will have 3 and 10 so if we print the array 1 first so it will be 2 and array 2 so it will be 3 and 10 so it will be automatically in the sorted order so we will jump into the uh, solution so if we, we uh, there is a simple solution for this we can use an extra array so we can make an auxiliary array of size m plus n so m is the length of a array and n is length of b so we can make an auxiliary array and we can use uh, two pointers that is uh, i and j and we can check if uh, array of i is less than array of p then we will uh, uh, we will uh, copy the a element to the new array and we will increment the index n accordingly so it will be basically a merge sort algorithm so it will also take n log n time to like merge and uh, all this will be according to that and so the solution that we are going to use for uh, without using extra space in constant space is this so in this we are given like two arrays and we have to sort them so we will do like use two pointers that is one pointer will be pointing to the array element uh, b and other pointer will be pointing to array element a and we will use a last variable to store the element of a so according because we have to like swap these elements not swap copy this 5 to 7 so we will have to keep track of the 7 where which value was the last so we will use a last variable to keep this store this 7 and then we will change the values accordingly so here are the steps basically the code only so here we will uh, run for the loop the outer loop will be for i from n minus 1 to 0 so i is uh, for this n minus 1 is length of b n is length of b so it will be 4 n minus 1 5 uh, minus 1 that will be 4 so i will be initiated uh, here initialized on the this index and we will have uh, we will show the last element that is m minus 1 uh, array of array a of m minus 1 the m is length of array a so array is length is 4 so uh, that is uh, 5 uh, so we will store this here like uh, this length is 4 so we will uh, I will write here the last variable will have just let me increase the size so last variable will store the value that is m minus 1 array of so that is uh, 7 this is the element 7 we will store the last variable here 7 and now we will check this uh, we will enter uh, we will initialize j to n min m minus 2 m is this m minus 2 is this one that is 5 so we will initialize j here uh, j will be here so this is j, j is pointing to this index and i is pointing to 9 so it is running on a we made this also uh, so now uh, we will enter this condition while j is greater than 0 yeah j is greater than 0 it is at second index and uh, array of a j that is a j is uh, a j is 5 5 is greater than the array of b j b j is uh, b i is 9 so this is not true 5 is not greater than 9 so this condition is not true we will uh, not run this loop and we will see if uh, j is not equal to m minus 2 yeah j is still equal to m minus 2 because uh, the element is not uh, greater than the 9 5 is smaller than 9 so j will stay here or the second condition that is last is greater than b of j last is 7 so 7 is also not greater than b of j b of j uh, b of i sorry b of i is 9 so this is also not true 
so uh, basically as you can see the 9 is a greater uh, greatest element of the uh, both arrays so it will stay here uh, obviously so now we will decrement i we will go to the uh, this two and we will decrement i so i will come here uh, just like i will come here now array of b uh, b of i is that is 8 now we will see 8 we will again uh, check j will initialize from this index only m minus 2 so we will check j is greater than 0 yes j is greater than 0 and array of a j is greater than b i a j is 6 so uh, a j is 5 so array of uh, let me write that also array of a j is 5 so 5 is not greater than b e of j so uh, we may, it means we will not uh, do not we will do not need to enter this loop so we will check here if j is not equal to m minus 2 j is still equal to m minus 2 this is also false so last element is greater than b of j last element is 7 it is not greater than b of j so it will again uh, not, uh, will not enter into any of this condition so we will again decrement the i because you can see it is already in sorted order because the larger elements are 8 and 9 so they will they are in still in sorted order because we need to maintain the bigger elements in the secondary and the smaller elements in the first array so now we will again check uh, the b of i will become 6 now it is 6 and a of j is still 5 and we will check if uh, e uh, that is uh, here we have b of j is 6 so we will check if uh, this we will enter this condition first of all j is greater than 0 yes j is still 2 and a of j is greater than b of i a of j is 5 and it is not 2 so a of j is smaller than b of j so we will not decrement j or uh, we will not move any elements so we'll come into next condition that is if j is not equal to m this is false but we have our condition also last is greater than b of j so last last is 7 and last and b of i is 6 sorry i am saying b of j by mistake so b of i is 6 and this condition is true so it is or because uh, so therefore one if one condition is true it will enter into this condition so now we will swap the elements that is we will copy uh, 6 in here uh, we will copy the 6 in here and here uh, for the 6 we will copy 7 you can see this condition i uh, array of j plus 1 that is the array of j is here and j plus 1 is 3 so we will copy the array of bi bi is 6 so we will copy 6 here and uh, last is 7 and we will copy the 7 into this index so now we will decrement uh, we will the uh, j will stay here sorry and now we will decrement the i that is i will come here and now uh, again the last will be uh, last will be updated that is 6 we will again enter into this loop and now i is our i is so basically 1 so we need to just run two iterations uh, now so last is 6 and b of i is 2 we will update this and array of j is still 5 so now we will enter into this condition while j is greater than 0 yes j is greater than 0 and a of j is greater than b of i yeah a is j a of j is greater than b of i that is b of i is 2 and a of j is 5 so it is greater so we will uh, uh, we will this element we have stored in the constant uh, constant that is last, last is equal to 6 so we need not to keep uh, like track of this so this condition will basically do that is a of j plus 1 is equal to a of j it will copy this element that is a of j into a of j plus 1 that is 5 will come here and now we will see that uh, 2 is uh, j will decrement so uh, j will decrement and we will see if 2 is greater than this, no, 2 is not greater than this. So this will also go to the next list that is 3 will come to 2. So now we will check if uh, 2 is like greater than 1, yes 2 is greater than 1. So this condition won't execute again. So we will have j, uh, we, will, uh, this, we will come out of this loop and we will check the condition if j is not equal to m minus 2. Yes j is not equal to m minus 2 or last is equal to this condition is true basically so it will enter into this but we will still check if last, last is greater than b of j b of j is 2 and last is 6 so it is greater the both conditions are satisfying so we will just copy this element here that is 2 in here and here we will copy the 6 that is last so this is basically copying and changing the elements of this both so now our i will come at this index and our last will be uh, updated that will it will become 5 because our last is 5 now n minus 1 that is 5 now j will be starting from again from m minus 2 that is this index j will again come here and we again now our element is 0 that is b of i is 0 now we will check if uh, j is greater than 0 yes j is still greater than 0 
एंड ए ऑफ जे इज ग्रेटर देन बी ऑफ आई या ए ऑफ जे इज फाइव एंड बी ऑफ आई इज जीरो सो वी विल नाउ चेंज दिस वैल्यू दैट इज कॉपी दिस वैल्यू हेयर वी विल कम हेयर एंड नाउ वी विल अगेन चेक जे विल डिक्रीमेंट नाउ जे विल डिक्रीमेंट अगेन विल एंटर दिस टू एंड विल चेक इफ टू इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो या टू इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो So two will again come here and J will decrement. J will come here and uh, one and uh, zero is still less than one. One is greater than zero, so one will again be copied to the next index. So we will see if uh, yeah. Now we have like uh, uh, we are out from this loop as J is greater than equal to zero. So this loop is over. Now we will see if J is not equal to m minus two. Yeah, yes, J is not equal to m minus two. M minus two is two and J is at zero position. And last is greater than B of J. Last is five and b of uh, b of i is uh, I have written wrong. Uh, b of i is zero. So if we come here, that is zero will be copied here, and the last element that is b of i will be copied here. Last element is five, so five will be copied here, and the loop will end. And this was our basically the dry run of this code on this given input. So now we have the sorted order. So this array one contains zero, one, two, three, and array b contains five, six, seven, and eight. Now we'll print both arrays. Like if we print both arrays, like a print A and print B without any space between them, so it will have output that is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it, uh, sorry, four is not there. Uh, zero. So this will be our output. So basically, this was the solution, and it only takes constant space because we are storing only the last element, and we are moving the elements one by one uh, in the array one. So, and its worst time complexity will be n into m. And how will that happen? If the uh, if we are given like uh, all the elements of the first array are smaller or are big, la larger than the second array, that is, if we are given like one, two, uh, just one, two, three, four, and in this array we are given like Five, six, seven, eight. So for sorting this array, we will uh, require a lot of time. That is m into n, because for this, like if the element is four, then we will have to swap all the elements. That is, change all the elements. Five will be copied here, six will be copied here, and all will be changed. So for three also, we will have to change all the elements. So it will be the worst case. That is m into m. So this was our solution for merging the two sorted arrays in. Constant space and m uh, in constant space, basically the egg, without using extra space. Thanks for watching, guys. This was our uh, like fourth or fifth video in this series. So do subscribe this channel and like this video and share it with your friends and uh, comment down below for more programming questions that you want me to solve. And do like and subscribe. Thank you, guys, for.